24 hours ago, I was uh, here in the studio doing an interview with Sue Blythe, and an interview that's actually gone incredibly viral. I know we use that term quite often, but in Manx terms, it's had a lot of people watching it. Now, Sue uh, is back with us with an update on the story. And for those who need to find out more about this, you'll, you'll find the first version uh, is on here at Alaman Television. Uh, Sue, uh, just a, a quick, maybe just a recap about your your in, you know your journey, shall we say, for the last uh, day or two. Would you like to say, say where you, you were and where you're up to now? Okay, well, it all started obviously on Wednesday when I went to the UK uh, and then came straight back. Um, all the issues with uh, border control and then issues with my husband not being able to come into the house with me. So since then, um, we've spent Thursday and Friday battling and battling and battling. Uh, we've had a lot of support from some MHKs, uh, namely Julie Edge, who's been absolutely fantastic, uh, Claire Christian, Daphne Kane, Chris Robertshaw, um, who have all been trying to get this ridiculous, um, rid ridiculous thing changed. Um, now, let's just be clear, right. though. I mean, the information that 111 gave you wasn't the correct information. And uh, it obviously... It wasn't the correct information, no. And no. people, I mean, I, I looked at the feedback as well. People go, why have you going on over for a dog? It's not that important. And you, you know, it, there's always a, somebody who will disagree with what you did. But um, since then, things have been clearer now, I understand. Uh, yes. Uh, we have found out now that the direction notice that was issued... Um, had the words in it that my husband could isolate voluntarily with me, we've been told uh, by somebody high up in the local government that those words should not have been in that direction notice and we, we, we shouldn't have been able to uh, live together when only I had travelled. Um, right. that's, that, that's major bit of information. You don't often get government saying they've, they've made a mistake on things like that. So yeah. they've corrected that information now, have they? Um, I don't know. I, I, to be honest, I should probably check the direction notice I got last night, but I, I had two hours to do what I'm going to tell you in a moment. Yes. So I didn't really have that. Let, but something else has come up on the 111 issue when I called them to clarify the words in the direction notice. We contacted 111 and said we wanted a copy of the recording to prove that I said what I said. They came back a day later to say, We've lost the recording, we've got a technical difficulty, but we know that you called between 10, 10, 28 and 10, 31. So I didn't call them to have a chat and have a cup of tea. I called them to clarify the direction notice, but they very conveniently not got the recording to let me have a copy of. Oh my God, it sounds like one of those thrillers, isn't it? When in, in police investigations, things go missing or something. It sounds horrendous. I, I suppose that when I get into is basically when you got back to the other man, you, you, your husband couldn't pick you up. It was a a huge ding dong went on down there. You were saying, in your words, it was quite aggressive the way you were treated. Uh, but to cut the story short, in the first part, you had to then take a taxi home. Uh, your husband, uh, who was there, couldn't pick you up. He then had to go and sit in the caravan and, and all the testing. Anyway, this is now part two. Over to you. Yes. Well, yes. Um, we have circulated your our previous discussion through various groups, and it's it's gained a lot of traction. Um, and there's always keyboard warriors, we know there are, and I've got huge empathy for the genuine people that have had, have been in my situation and not been able to isolate with their loved ones. Normally, you know, they might have had chemo or major surgery, and to me, it's, it's fundamentally wrong that they can't be together. Um, so I think me raising this now hopefully should help them in the future. But where we're at now was that on one of the Facebook groups, a lady said to me, um, both go to the UK and come straight back because you're then coming in together and you can isolate together. So we got onto the government about it yesterday and they actually said, yes, do it, which is crazy. So we then booked a ticket with the steam packet. We went out last night at eight o'clock with our two dogs. So we had to take the car, but I wasn't allowed in the car, even though we were both going to the steam packet. I had to order a taxi to take me to Douglas from Mackles. My husband followed behind me with the two dogs. I got on as a foot passenger. He drove on. I got the key for the cabin. And then I met him in there, even though I wasn't allowed to drive in with him. So then we um, came back, turned around and came back and got a back at six o'clock this morning, came through immigration, and now we're both in the house isolating for 14 days. And this cost us, obviously, the whole of Saturday evening 
and just under £500 because we couldn't do it without taking the dog. So we needed to take the car for all the paraphernalia. We needed to get a pet cabin because it was the middle of the night and all the stress and everything else that's gone with it. But now we can, because of these ridiculous and ludicrous rules, we're now actually in the same house together for two weeks, and, which uh, was the end result. I've got to say, you followed the rules exactly there because you, you, know, you could have easily gone in the car together, but you knew that would have been wrong and it could have been picked up. So you have literally now taken that uh, order to pieces and, and followed it line by line, I'm taking it. Yes, absolutely. Well, we, we dare not put a foot wrong because clearly we've we've caused a little bit of a fuss in the last few days. and. You can just imagine that uh, we were probably not very popular in certain elements of certain parts of government right now. Yeah, um, but I mean, certain, certain by, parts of government hearing, your, ignored. hearing your story, it's probably, as you say, it's helped other people. Let's forget the picking up a dog, which is whatever people may think about that. As you say, people have got to travel for other reasons and, and uh, having that sort of distress levels at, on the re-entry has got to be looked at, hasn't it? I mean, has there been any sort of apology that you've got from the way that you told us anyway that it was handled when you arrived that first time? No, absolutely not. And I can't imagine how people feel if they have been across for surgery or chemo. All they want to do is be with their loved one. OK, we went to get a dog, but the reason for travel in this situation is irrelevant. The, the reason I originally talked to you was because the way I'd been treated and the way that the, the paperwork had been given to us incorrectly, and then when I clarified it, it was compounded because the 111 lady said it was OK to do what I did. And the 111 tape that's gone missing due to technical issues. Yes. You're right. Um, what happens now? You, you are sort of uh, a few hundred pounds down, but you are now t together and you go through this period of isolation back in the house. And you take your swab test, right? Is that what's going on now? Yes. Yes. I've already booked first ones tomorrow because this is day zero, apparently. So day one's tomorrow. Um, we're, we're very angry with what's happened um, and we, 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 we will be making a stand. Oh, does that sound legal? But there's nothing in front of the courts at the minute. Uh, by the way, husband, does he want to show his face? Is he there just to prove? <laughs> does he want to come just on? To prove Is he I keep threatening him with the, with the motor home now if, if, he's, if he doesn't behave. Up <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. oh, there, hey. See, then that's quite legal now. And yeah. that wouldn't have been legal yeah. the other day. It's, that's correct, right? <laughs> I think I think we've shown that um, it, the way there's a will, there's a way, and you can find your way around government bureaucracy and absurdity. Um, you have to go to some lengths to do that, but actually, we've achieved it.